Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we will onboard by using Intune devices to endpoint analytics. So if you just go back to your report from an Intune portal, you have an option for endpoint analytics. So as soon as you click on here, if this is the first time, you will be getting very similar to this kind of, you know, wizard. Also, this is nothing but the for the first time you're going to enabling or onboarding your Intune devices to endpoint analytics. Very similar, like, you know, you onboard your Intune device uh, or a client device to Intune, right? Similarly, a device that needs to be onboarded to a cloud service called endpoint analytics so since this is a different but it has been integrated within the intune console we need to again create some kind of onboard policies so the onboard mechanism is completely three different steps uh, for intune specific so if you see here collect device data from all cloud managed devices meaning uh, it's it's going to be every device that is comes under devices for windows right and if you select only a specific group of devices that would be very limited set of a group devices and the third one would be the you would be you know selecting letters so what would happen is so either you select any of these two or the last one there is a huge there is a difference so if you select the last one it means it is not going to create a policy so i mean to say when you actually choose all cloud devices or uh, cloud managed devices it's going to create in the back end some policy in the devices and the configuration profile for the health monitoring purpose it's going to create a policy and once that policy is assigned for all the cloud based devices i mean it is going to assign automatically based on the targeting to all devices that's called the all cloud managed device in case if you choose as a select group you would be assigning that policy to a specific set of devices that you are going to select or a group name right and if you select later so this is not going to create any policy uh, and it's not going to apply for any of the uh, devices but remediation still can be used but any reports that are relay and the analytics data will be empty because you have not selected or you have not created the health monitoring profile so let's actually first create for all cloud managed devices by clicking on a start so what would happen is in the back end it's going to create a policy and then as soon as it is created all these three report specific uh, or automatically enable so let me show you so the configuration profile that i'm talking about is it will be under devices for windows uh, it would be under configuration profiles you should be able to see a policy name called intune data collection policy this policy i did not create it it has been automatically created as soon as i have selected all cloud managed devices so what happened it has created this policy and it is assigned uh, if you look at the assignments the assignment is for all devices and if you look at the health monitoring there is a scope was enabled for the health analytics that is for the endpoint analytics specific it has been uh, configured uh, so what happens is all the devices uh, it would you know pull up the data within 24 hours and will show up in the intune console for endpoint analytics so as you can see here you could you know collect the health monitoring enable disable not configure uh, you could also create your own custom uh, policy even for this but in this case it has been automatically enabled during the enrollment process you also have even for uh, scoping for the windows updates also for the health monitoring now when we go back to again reports endpoint analytics you have here startup performance so the devices that are enrolled will be shown here for the performance and application reliability uh, so in if you remember in the past we did explained uh, you might not uh, get the same thing if you have intune suite license right so that's a advanced license uh, with the advanced analytics this option gets changed to device filters uh, and now um, so the data will be populated within 24 hours and uh, you could see here 
the data for 57 different devices that can uh, cause some kind of an issues with the delay in it due to you know processors behavior and you should be able to uh, fix it the startup process and similarly uh, you could see the baseline score versus your endpoint analytics specific score and each category was like startup or proactive remediations all of that stuff would be you know, automatically populated here for you and these values within the startup for the hardware device models uh, and their performance uh, score can be you know, viewed within this tab and device performance uh, will show you the uh, specific to the device startup uh, performance and the core boot and sign in all of that stuff including the uh, startup performance or restart frequency can be uh, find within this tabs and application reliability which talks about the whether application is okay or it has any drivers issue or some kind of problems within the application all of that including the performance and the model performance based on a different hardware how it is behaving and the based on the OS bills uh, how it is working all of that stuff can be uh, validated uh, with the application reliability and work from anywhere would you know give you the options uh, for the users that are coming from uh, remote locations also how their applications or their baselines are uh, up to the mark with the scoring would be easily assessed here uh, with the help of the specific uh, configuration view uh, for example model performance device performance windows and you could also uh, windows 11 upgrade a path also or the readiness also can be you know uh, find out uh, within these options so that being said we have learned so uh, so far you know good configuration uh, changes that are related uh, to enrolling Intune based devices and you could see that uh, as a overall configuration you could easily find out Intune data collection policy was configured and uh, this is ready however configuration manager data collection was not configured yet uh, which needs to be done at the uh, Intune uh, enabled or co-managed or tenant attached CCM server specific so that would be you know covered in the next lecture but for now you could see that the cloud based configuration has been done with for the enrolling automatically for the Intune enrolled devices and this is where you could even set the configuration baselines uh, according to your uh, regression threshold and you could adjust your baselines based on your current metrics or existing baseline settings so that being said I'll catch you in the next lecture thank you for watching this